today we're back on the Lodestar. The um, the brakes I kind of went through on it, uh, cleaned up the wheel cylinders on this side. I put two new ones on the um, the right front, cleaned up the ones on the right rear, and then the left rear I haven't touched yet, but it is the side that was working. I'm going to take it off and check them, clean them up, make sure they're good, but. Um, since I changed all that out, I've not bled the brakes yet. So, so what we're getting ready to do today is um, is bleed the brakes and try to get them kind of working pretty decent, and then I'll tear into this side here. So, um, by myself today, Gavo was at school. I'm going to um, try out. I got a little Harbor Freight um, vacuum bleeder. If not, if that don't work, I'll just use a little bottle and kind of um, do the little kind of redneck setup you can do with uh, like a water bottle or a pop bottle and uh, do it that way but I'm gonna try that vacuum bleeder out see how that does so let's uh, get that thing hooked up and see how it does so here's the kit um, that I got from Harbor Freight that's a 14 piece uh, bleeder kit I think's what it's called so comes with a few extra parts in here to adapt it to whatever kind of bleeder you got so um, one of the problems I had also was I didn't have the right bleeders for these back wheel cylinders so or this little kit off Amazon so it's got the 7 16 uh, by 24 um, thread size that I need for the bleeders so I'm gonna try to get that uh, hooked up as well I had to um, basically destroy one of them getting it out so I wanted a new one and um, this kit comes with the uh, hopefully the ones I need so yeah so let's go test these and make sure these fit and um, see if we can't get this thing uh, uh, bleeding so looks like I could just use a regular hose on this But it does come with a bunch of little adapters for um, Different types of bleeders, so we'll use what we need out of this and uh, Hopefully get this done There we go. I don't know how I got that done on there so far. There we go. Now I have to uh, bend this right here to match kind of like this side. So let's do that. That's pretty close right there. There we go. That's kind of what we wanted. Let's go try this on the truck now. tail or not but there's there's enough fluid in there I don't think the fluid's moving guess let's hook our little bottle up and see what it does it's 
got fluid in there. Let's go pump the brakes and see what it does. Let's go uh, try the front wheel out. The one I put the new uh, um, wheel cylinders on. It's, I got it capped off right now, so let's hook it up. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or not, if there's just a big bunch of air where I uh, unhooked it or what. So let's try that out. So here's what I got on the front wheel. I mean, I'm sure that's fine, right? So these are just the new wheel cylinders just plugged off. So let's uh, bend us up some brake line and uh, see if we can't get uh, brake fluid to this wheel. So this is the wheel cylinders that has the oddball um, 7 16 by 20 thread on them. So no no auto parts stores that i could find stocked those uh, a couple of my ass and they didn't even know how to order that so finally found that kit on uh online but now i had to order these um individual and these are i think for the bubble style flare so i think that'll work in here but I'm not positive. So supposedly that's what thread this is, but I don't know, it's kind of rough. I mean that's what it said online anyway, so you know that has to be right, right? So the threads look the same, so let's straighten right here. a little tighter for some reason let's try this other one oh. huh. so the uh, bleeder just seven sixteenths by twenty threads in real good. The thread pitch matches exactly by looking at it, but having a hard time threading them in. Might need to run a tap over them. I think I got this size tap. Let's go do that. So here's a 7 16 20. So it fits the the bleeder screw. Perfect. So here's the little nipple that we had to get. And it does not thread onto that, so do not know what's up with that but let's run the tap down one of these and see what happens or is this the die yeah I'm not so sure why these fittings are so hard to find. 
And maybe I'm just looking the wrong place, but I could not find them anywhere. Found these on eBay actually. It's like, I don't know, five or six bucks a piece. I can't remember now. So I don't know why that was like that, but uh, that's the size they sold it to be, 7 sixteenths by 20. It goes on there, but it's still a little tight. I mean, I got that upside down, but wow, just don't get that. Let's go see if that fits in there now. Okay, so here's the one we run the die across. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. So it fits good now, but I don't I don't know why it's just a hair too big. I don't, I don't understand, but anyway, so let's go do the other one. And then when we flare the line for this, we'll do the uh, bubble flare. Um, I think it's what, what these actually use. So, yeah, that'll be a new one for me. So, let's go give that a shot. So now I got two of them. I got two lines to make. But the upper end of the lines takes the regular 7 sixteenths by 24 thread. So, these will only go on the bottom ends of the lines that go into the wheel cylinders. Let's go make us up some lines now. All right, so this is me trying to make a bubble flare. Let's see how well this goes. Well, I think we done it. Huh. That's easier to make than the other ones. All right, so I got my lines made up. You know, I got the the bubble flower on this end, and then the regular whatever on this end. So I'm gonna put um, a couple of bins in these, and then go under the trunk and see what I need to do, because. Basically, this will bend down this way, and then this one will bend down, and then there will be a bend here in the middle like there is. So, There's one bend. I better make sure if I bend that. I think the front might only have one 90 degree bend. Let's check that out. Okay, so that was close. Um, there's only one 90 in the front. So just about done it. 
and the 90 is on the the bubble flared side there we go so now we'll just get under there and kind of finesse them to fit i think they're a little bit too long but that's my fault because i was for some reason anticipating two bins in it so i cut them a little bit long but i believe we can manage we'll see what it looks like if not we'll cut cut this end off and uh, redo it let's go check under there so had to cut a little bit off um yeah my fault so now we'll flower the ends of these and um, yeah, that's kind of how the, the bend had to go in them. So should be good. Let's go fire these now. All right, so me and Gav's back on the load star again today. Um, bled the brakes a little bit. They're actually doing a little bit better. Uh, so we'll finish that up here soon. But we kind of wanted to switch gears and uh, we're uh, on the throttle uh, linkage right now. It's kind of sticky. Um, the throttle will stick on us sometimes. So I'm blaming it on the linkage. So that's where we're going to go next. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So on i'm not sure if it's the same i assume it's the same on the, uh, the other load stars but on this one uh the pedal actually pushes down on the linkage and then it pulls back on the the throttle on the carburetor but right here where the uh linkage is you can see where it bolts to the firewall right here There's two bolts i think that's what's sticking uh honestly don't honestly don't know for sure but right here is where it comes out of the firewall uh, and this rod pushes down and i think this is the piece that's actually sticking so we're going to take that loose and uh, see if we can't free it up a little bit see if that's what's causing this to stick so let's get this off here i know you probably can't see this uh cotter pin i'm taking out down here but um it's what's in the linkage from the pedal to this part that I think's uh, froze up. All 
So there was the cotter pin, wasn't hardly bent at all in it. Yeah, so I got it loose from the pedal and it, it don't really move, so I would about guess that's what the problem is there. That's, I don't think that spring's that tight, but we'll take the spring off and see here. I can't see what you're doing. Well, the you, wires run away. But you gonna be my cameraman? Probably gonna have to. <laughs> All right, yep, yeah, Gavin, that's what it is, but. So take these two bolts right here, you can see where I'm pointing, right there, take them two bolts out, we'll take that piece off of there and see if we can't free it up. Well, it'd be nice to have said gear wrenches right now, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, is that ground strap going to yeah. see if you can't get it loose from the bolt. It don't break, I don't want to break the ground strap. Well. Kind of weird that it's turned up that way anyway. Yeah. Unless it's just out of the way of the throttle there. I don't know. There we go. I think we got it. Yeah. Oh no, here we go. You put it right there somewhere. Can you get that other one out? Buddy. Still can't get a socket up on there, I guess. Nope. I'm sure won't be able to loosen it up with a socket, I wouldn't think. Mm -mm. Or take it all the way out. Go close to some valve cover. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm gonna drop it. Yeah. I got it. Oh well. I don't say we'll just watch for it. <laughs> Ow! I don't have it. <laughs> it's stuck in there. Somehow you drop it there and it end up in the intake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take that linkage loose. You see down there where the throttle pedal is? Oh, it keeps jumping back in that hole where. Is it already loose? Yeah, it's loose. Just uh, there you go. And then pull that up. Will it? Will it come up this way? Watch that choke cable. And if we have to, we'll take that choke cable loose. I was trying to get away from doing that. Will it come up out of there? Here, let me put this down out of the way. There you go. Oh, I think we're seeing it come out of there. What about this thing? That's what I was saying. If we can leave it hooked up, we can't swing. Can you get that bottom part out of there somehow? Or is it, is it going to have to come loose? Squeeze that cotter pin together and pull it out. That way we don't have to mess with the adjuster. Perfectly in the way. Oh yeah. There you should be able to pull that out there now. 
Oh look, I'll drop it. Yeah. Grab that washer right there. <clears throat> Got it. Alright. Now grab your linkage and I'll hold this thing. You get it? Yes, sir. All right. Is that it? Well, that's not moving, so. That's hmm. the... Yep. Is it bent or is it supposed to be bent there? I got loose a little no, bit. No, it's supposed to be bent. So let's uh, yeah, let's get her loosened up here. We'll spray some uh, something in it. Let's see what it feels like now. Still too tight. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if we need to bend them apart a little bit and try to get some grease or something in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep working it again. Is it feeling better? Do it with one finger. Right. What can you do with one finger? <laughs> you only need two. <clears throat> now spin it the other way. Yeah, look at that talent. Well, I'm a mechanic because <laughs> I'm a master mechanic and I've been working like this for years. My hands don't fire too fast. Is it getting hot? Well, look at all the rust that comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to do right there. Let's spray some more oil in it. All right, so we cleaned that up a little bit. Gavin's greased it up, been working it in a little bit. It's been a lot easier, Gavin. Oh, yeah. So the pedal, the pedal in the floor was sticking a little bit too. There's a like a hinge behind here. I don't know if you can see it real good or not. But I cleaned out, I took the air hose and blew out. There's a lot of mud and dirt caked in around it too. So I cleaned all that out and, um, oiled it up so this uh throttle pedal is working a lot better so i think we got it before we ain't gonna have a sticky throttle no more right i hope so yeah all right let's get this thing stuck in here and try her out now this ground strap is there a different way we can do this thing or do we have to leave it folded around like that it leave it folded yeah. around oh, like well. that. okay move this out of the way That thing's like soldered there or something. I'm gonna put it over on that bolt. I think that'd be easier. Whatever you need to do. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think that looks better anyway. Look that folded up mess it was in. There we go. Now, we got this teeny tiny cotter pin goes in this choke cable. That one has a cotter pin goes in it too. You wanna to try to get it? I don't even know where the cotter pin is on it. Watch it, let me have that spot then I'll get it. You the one that took it out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, let's see, is that camera still on? Yeah. All right, let's watch it. Blink it, see how it looks. Shut her down. Now let's uh, let's check the oil in the transmission, and then we'll get back on the brakes. So this is what we've been doing for a few minutes, but I think I've got a better idea. So let's try that out. Um, do you want to get in there and look and see when this oil starts running out? Sure. So I know when to stop. <clears throat> I guess this is the one handy thing about not having the boot over the parking brake. You need more? Hold on. Just let it keep going. Okay. There ain't a whole lot left in this funnel. Alright, let the rest of it drain. It, we're overflowing. Okay. Alright. You got it? Hold on, let the rest of it drain in there. Alright, bring her out. Can you, can you close her? Got her closed.
to work on the brakes, but yeah. it's better. eventually get there we'll see what it does. I have to do more research I just read yeah. up on it that you can do that like that mirror don't say don't back into my I grass I got a that gum day cave on this thing I know <laughs> I think I look at my used mirror used to that dump bay. oh yeah you need to use the mirrors learn to use them but for side stuff but yeah you can see right behind you this thing ain't you I like it look what you did in my yard Gavo got the got the brakes on the Lodestar kind of going our way so they're not perfect yet they still need bled but they're actually grabbing pretty good um, we fixed the throttle pedal where it was sticking and uh, yeah man it seems to have a lot more pep when you can actually give it fuel now but here um, here pretty soon I'm going to uh, try to attach this bed I'm gonna cut a piece of wood go in here I believe and then um, the brackets that came with this I'm gonna try to use them but I can't get the the nuts are kind of rusted on the top so I don't know if it's worth trying to save them or not but I'm gonna probably weld a plate onto the flat bed that comes down on the side of the frame and then bolt it to the frame that way maybe I don't know it's probably what I'll do but we got to get rid of these filler necks and uh, you can see we got to move the mud flap back so we'll do that here pretty soon and once we get that done we'll start working on um, some sort of bumper hitch system here we'll put a probably put a two and a half inch receiver because all my receivers for my truck is two and a half inch and then I, well, I can swap out on this thing as I need to so yeah I'm tickled with it there's a transmission making a little bit of noise I don't know if that's anything to worry about or not but Seems like we don't have much luck with transmissions around here. Started off with the Spicer in the dump truck, then it went to the Ram, the eyes and went out. Your and then, signal light works. Yeah, it does. I mean, well, is it on right now? Yeah, it's blinking over here. It's blinking all the day. All of them blinking. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, now then, now the transmission on this is like I say, we we changed oil in it, and we found one tooth in the bottom of the transmission. Uh, two, well, one and a half, we'll say. We'll split the difference. Like <laughs> yeah, it don't matter. But 
I'll probably pick up another one of these trucks. Um, I was going to get um, a four-wheel drive one, and I won't go into much detail. The guy sold it out from under me, but uh, oh well. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to uh, get another one um, just for the transmission, so I have it kind of as a spare and uh, a few extra parts, but the, this thing don't need much. It's actually uh, really good shape, but I just want that transmission just in case. Um, I'll uh, probably get another one somewhere. I found a couple more online that I might look at, but um, yeah, no big deal right now. We'll drive it until this transmission falls apart, but it'd be nice to have a spare or uh, one or four parts, but yeah, I'll, qu I'll quit rambling. We'll wash this thing up here in the next few days and uh, see if that bed's worth saving on there or not the wood the wood on it's looking pretty rough I mean, you can see kind of some rot but uh yeah at least it's on there right now i'm just i'm more worried about getting the brakes working good and uh getting the lights going good where we can actually take her out on the road that's the plan and gavin wants to take the dump truck out on the road <laughs> We'll just swap the cab off its lodestar and put on on there, I reckon. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I'll quit rambling on this video and uh, uh yeah, we'll jump back on this as soon as we can. So there you go. What do you say? Ready to get on something else? Let's do it. Ready to get on the dump truck. Okay. All right, let's do it. <laughs> 